How y'all gonna come in that fast? Look at Blue Rag. Look at Blue Rag. <laughs> Blue Rag don't play, boy. He gonna make sure he the first one. I see you, homie. Foundation in the house. The Marcus, Vito, Ricky Smooth, Roger Boy. I'm here, big partner. I see you. Big Vince. Poor that story you told yesterday about poor Evan Harlem. Funny as that. <laughs> okay. Let me see. 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 Yeah, uh, Harlow was funny, man. That boy over the cuz. The cuz was a straight dope head. Got an uncle from your hood. Big Sneak. Oh, Big Sneak. Okay, that's what's up. Dang, four edge your, your uncle. Cuz. That fool, that fool bit the doodle -doo about me, homie. God dang. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. Sleeve ball. Lakeisha, what's up? The village. Baby Jim. Okay, Foundation Nation. Get lit, 818. Okay, little fella. Hey, ganger, don't bang, homie. You know what's up. You know what's up. Man, everybody falling up in there. I'm tired, y'all, man. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, cuz I'm tired. Man, I know I'm looking rough. I know I'm looking rough, y'all. Don't clown me, man. Don't clown me. I'm looking rough. You know what I'm saying? Then I got all this blue on. I'm up in there looking like Papa Smurf. Or somebody. Proud member of the foundation. Brown New, what's up? That's right, homie. Jersey, bruh. I see you in here tapping in. Sleeves, ball. Baby face, lobster. What's up, cousin? I know it wasn't going to take you long. KK. Big homie, trued up. Y'all, yeah, I stay trued up, homie. You know, I'm from the old school, you know. Sean Lett, can a ghost write for you? Oh, yes. Oh, you got to get in contact with me. Hold on, Sean. Man, are you are you a professional ghostwriter or you just trying to do it for me? We need to get in contact with each other because I need a ghostwriter super duper bad, homie. I need a ghostwriter bad. Yeah, yeah. Peace to the chat. Joe Frank, who's that with the homie name? AGC. No. True Blue Foundation, 638, Devline. Okay. Fire Fist. Boy, the whole foundation rolling up in here tonight. I'm tired, y'all. Man, I got a little old funny story, man. This little story called uh, uh, the little homie forgot to shoot. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try to make it, try to make it as, you know, it's gonna be good, but it's gonna be fast, man, because I got I got some place I gotta go. But now I ain't been on here, I ain't been on here in all day. You know, I left earlier going to this other little spot. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this video. Well, it's a documentary, but it's it's on the video, but it's all type of pictures and music and stuff about Avalon. And I'm trying to get it done. The dude who was supposed to be there, he wasn't at the shop today. He won't be back till Thursday. So I can't jump back on it till Thursday, y'all. But when I put it out, y'all gonna like it though. No, I write music, but I'm nice. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Sean Lee. No, I write music, but I'm nice with the pencil. Yeah. I need a professional, though, homie. I ain't taking from your skills. Five fish solo. Sean Lett. High powered. Thing. You got Instagram? I think. Man, I'm so retarded when it comes to that. Yak. Keep Dully. When you came to the South, I know you got some. Eight ball alliance stories when G's and Chris, man. When I first came out here, it was it was it was during the end of the little eight ball air, you know what I'm saying? The little eight ball air, but um, you know, I got up on it though. I, you know, I, I found out about it and you know, dudes explained to me what eight ball was, yeah. But it, it was kind of leaving by the time I came in. I don't even know how to pronounce that for Zavisa. 
I don't know, but two, what's up? What's up? Four, four, stop. I don't know. Man, y'all hitting them likes? I hope y'all hitting that like button, man. Y'all coming in. Y'all hit y'all. I don't know if y'all hitting that like. Now y'all know. Soon, soon as Snoopy Mac tap in, you know I'm gonna sick him on y'all. He gonna go let me know if them likes getting hit. Uh I don't know if he can if he can check and see if y'all hitting that share. I know all y'all subscribe. But I don't know. Knockout. What's up? Black Warrior Spirit. Big cartoon. Gangsta Crip. Salute. My brother. Dang. Okay. Okay. Forzu Vasa Vasa Forzu Vasalia. I'm 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 gonna take that and just leave it like that on me. <laughs> okay. Be black. Pasadena on the check in. King Mike. What's up? Done on the likes. Yak Williams. Done on the likes. How many likes is it? Lights out. Uh-uh. High power. 20 likes? No. It's 90-something people in here. Okay, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. 8-4 look in. Louisville, Kentucky showing love. Okay, homie, that's right. For the nation, for the foundation nation. Man, we worldwide, man. They all over in Japan. Checking out the foundation, man. 61 likes. Guess what? Man, you know what? I'm not even going to sweat y'all about no likes tonight. I'm not even going to bother y'all. If y'all hit the likes, cool. If you don't hit the likes, I ain't even tripping tonight. Because I'm I'm triple OG tied. Snoopy Mac, where he at? I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. Black Warrior, where's Snoopy Mac at? You seen him? I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. You ain't seen him? Okay. Here we go. We pass 100. You know it don't take long for us to get past 100. So I'm going to start, cuz I'm from Fire Dudes Hoover. What's up, uh, Navarro Simmons? Who was in the house? Okay. Uh, so Black Warrior Spirit Salute, brother. Okay. All right. Man, it's hot. I got this hat upside my head trying to look cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I look cool, man. But uh, we're going we gonna to get right to this story, man. We're going to get right to the story. I'm mad. See, but before I get to the story, man, I've been sweating YouTube. I keep looking around. Now, as I always tell y'all, Preston, what's up, cuz? <laughs> what that A gang like, homie? Okay. But anyway, you know, well, y'all don't know. Well, you know, because I've told y'all that, you know, I'm a nerd. I'm a, I'm a gang I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gangster nerd. You know what I'm saying? I'm gangster. I'm gangster by day and nerd by night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, for real though. Avalon, what Avalon? Ooh, ha <laughs> ha ha! Heard that though. Avalon, what Avalon? Ooh, yeah, homie. But Pete, so they got a uh, they got an anime now. Anime for those who don't know, that's like an anime, an animated series. So, Dominique, what's up, homie? I see you. So now I've been on the anime. I've been checking out something called Rise of the Shield Hero. That's like a Dungeons and Dragon type anime show. And it's, you know, I'll catch it. But I, I got season, I seen season one, episode one. And for the life of me, I cannot find season one, episode two. I've been looking for it, but I can't find it. You say we're going to make a cartoon about a cartoon. Hey, what's up, Chef? ATX original, homie. Okay, Yak, I see you. What you think about Quando, Quando Rondo going to L.A.? I don't know, homie. I, like I said, I don't know the little cat. I don't know him. I've never heard his music. Um, He looked like, I don't know, he looked like a little weenie boy to me. But now, you know, that you know looks could be deceiving. I don't know him. But like, okay, I found out they say he was claiming um he claiming six o. I think you are y'all already know my cousin from six o. He OG from six o. I talked to him today, and I was asking. I say, Cub, what you know? What your homies feel about this Quando cat? And the sixties in L.A. He say the sixties out there. He say his homies don't care nothing about that dude. They say they don't even consider him from six o. That what my cousin say, and you know my cousin is pretty much uh he's in the higher the higher echelons of the 6-0 game. So if he said, I go with it. 
Ah, uh, Dominique, yeah, homie, yeah, man. It's hot as I don't know it. I'm going to take it off in a minute because I got to go. But look, okay, let me see. Episode two. Yeah, yeah, baby face. Yeah, you, you know, season episode two on YouTube. No, no, it ain't. They got a lot of things that kind of, you know, say something about episode two, but it don't have no, you know, just straight up. You know, our long version of episode two. I can't find it. If it is, I'm going to have to look. You, see, y'all look back there. Y'all see it? See on the TV? That's that's uh, that's uh it right there. You know, that's uh, that's the little anime show I'm trying to catch. But I don't know. Peace, much respect, OG, and the foundation. Thank you, homie. You ever heard of One Piece? You probably mean One Punch. Not One Piece, but One Punch? Yeah. If you talk about One Punch, yeah. Okay, nominee. OG Monk. Yeah, that's my cousin, homie. East Bay, did you know Lil Monk from 6 0? Yeah, I know him. Anyway, it's 130 of us up in here. That's plenty to start the story. Okay, this is a story based on the title of My Little Homie Forgot to Shoot. It's not that he forgot to shoot. A little bit, did you ever spoke or wrote with using? He said, Look, he's Kiros, Queros, Kiros. I hope I said it right. Salute, Big Cartoon. Did you ever spoke or wrote without using the B? So, you know, when I was younger, I was into that. I don't really, I don't pay no attention to it no more. But when I was younger, yeah, you know, you know, you know, Crips, you don't, don't use the B. Bloods don't use the C. Um, it, I remember, you know, when I was younger, yeah, certain words, I would do it. It, it never really just, you know, clicked with me like that, you know. Hey y'all, can y'all hear me? I'm back. Like on uh on uh that old boy said that on uh what's it on what's the show uh 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 when he's fighting aliens Independence Day. I'm back. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Is this the same one? And love black people foundation for show. Okay, as I'm waiting for this video to stop buffering in place, so. Could see war going. Okay, yeah, we can hear you. All right, homie. All right, my bad. I don't know. I don't know what happened right then. Um, I, I believe my equipment had a brain fart, or either 
YouTube had a brain fart or StreamYard or something. But no matter what, we back. We done lost some people, but they'll come back. Anyway, this what happened. Okay, one night, um, my little homeboy just got out of way. And um, I went and picked him up. Uh, I'm wondering if I should say his name. Uh, I'm gonna say his name. You know what I'm saying? It was it was my it was my home it was my homeboy little man. It was my homeboy little man. So uh, he on the street right now too. So I couldn't wait for the homie to get out. Cause really, for real, for real, the homie little man is really my little homeboy. I was waiting for him to get out of YA so I could change his name from Lil Man to Lil Cartoon. So boom. When he finally got out, because you know he, you know, he me and the homie, we've been joined at the hip forever. So when the homie finally got out of YA, the first night he was out, I go to pick him up. So uh, you know, he jumped in the car with me. Cub, what's up, big homie? What's up? I'm like, what's up, homie? What's happening? So boom. So at the time, did you know this was this was during my active fool years? Because the homie been from the set a long time. He dang there born and raised in the set. So anyway, I pick him up and we leave him. Now his sisters, his sisters pitching a fit. They don't want him to go. They don't want him with me. They you go get him in trouble. Boy, don't go with cartoon. Y'all, you know he a fool. You know he bought that drama. Don't go with him. Don't go with him. Don't go with him. So, okay, the little homie wasn't trying to hear none of that. Only thing on his mind was riding with me, his big homeboy. The guy who interviewed on street TV, uh, he official. Yeah, yeah, Llewellyn, that's the homie, yeah. You know, you know, you're old, though, but yeah, that's the homie, though. So, uh, I scoop him up. So, boom, we don't do nothing the first night, but I tell him, I'm like, look, I'm going to pick you up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We're going to ride out. We're going to do some things. So, we like, all right, big homie, you know. So when I had him with me that night, we riding around, we getting acclimated with the hood again and, you know, just checking out the scene and bang. So the next night come, I scoop him up. Come on, homie, let's ride. So now while we riding, I got him with me. So I tell him, I'm like, look here, homie, check this out. We finna go put some work in. We finna go do something. I say, you down? So he like, he like, yeah, 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 cuz I'm down. The homie not on me down now. You know, he down to put some work in. I'm like, all right, cuz, look. So boom. The only thing I had on me at the time was a uh, was a uh, 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 eight ball, a 38. So, you know, a little six shot, you know, it's just something I had on me at the time. So boom, I give it to him. I say, uh, we finna go get it to such and such. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna um, I don't wanna say they said. I try to see I try to keep I try to keep stuff as vague as I possible as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, y'all know the powers that be on this Internet stuff. You know what I'm saying? We just you know, they, you just can't put no anything out on the Internet because the one time they had snatched it up and run with it. Bump you. So anyway, but it, it, it was some blood, though. So, um. I tell him, I said, well, look, this is what we finna do. We finna go. So he like, all right. So we ride, we ride, we ride. We ride. So uh, when we get over there, we come off a certain street and we turn. So now one it, it, it was some dude standing in the yard, and it was it was a dude driving off. So now it's two carloads of us though. So I tell the homie, I'm like, cuz, look. When we bend this corner right here, that car finna come our way. I say, I want you to get off. He like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Because I'm knowing they finna pass right by us. Man, the car hit the corner, and they see us. So whoever the driver was, he peeked like, uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? He tried to like skirt past us real quick. So, you know, the homie, the homie go to handle his business. It didn't work. It didn't work. That's all I'm gonna say. It didn't work right. So I'm like, I'm looking at him. I have to bust. I got to bust a U-turn in the middle of the street and chase the car. So we chasing this car. 
we come we come in, we coming down a whole nother street. But now you got to remember though, we in they hood. We in they hood. And, and the chase is on. Man, we come down the street and man, all I heard was boom, 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 boom. About five or six shots let off. <coughs> Jersey bro, you know I'm making it real vague on me. So anyway, about five or six shots let off. So I'm at first, I, when the first shot come, I don't, I don't know what it is. But all of a sudden, all I heard was pink, 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 pink. Oh man, they eating, they eating my little old car up. What? Pink, 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 pink. I'm like, it's time to go. We leave. We leave. I get on. Now, when we get back to the hood, man, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm hot. So, you know, I'm like telling homie, I ain't come, man. Woo, woo, woo. So he tell me, man, look, you know, it's been a while. You know, I'm just getting out. It's been a while. I, I'm thinking. So he thinking you just point and pull the trigger and it's going to empty the clip. That's what he thought. I say, look, homie. It's a 38. You have to pull the trigger. It's a 38. He like, yeah, cuz I got it now. I got it, homie, man. You know, yeah, I got it. I, I just, I just, I just, I, I understand. We gonna do better next time. So he tell me, yeah. So cool, okay. A couple of days go by. We in the park. We in South Park kicking it. We in South Park kicking it. So um, I gotta use the phone. I gotta go. I gotta use the phone. So at, at the time, ain't no cell phones out. So. I got to go up on Avalon and use the phone booth. So now in the hood like that, in a lot of hoods, when, when you going, when you going, when you going to use the phone booth, you go by tools. While you own the phone, somebody got to be right there with the heat, watching the cars, watching the streets. Cause if you got your back turned and you own the phone, or if you just posted up at a phone booth, period, you know what I'm saying? In LA back at this time, the one time, uh, the the one I mean, not the one time, but um, you know, you, you know, your enemy cause they they pull up and just go to dump it. You feel me? Yeah, I know Ice Mike. Me and homie don't put we didn't put working together. So look, I tell I tell the homie, look, man, come on, come, come, hey, come on up here on Avalon with me. I gotta use the phone. So he like, okay. So at, now this time, I get a little homie a Mac. We got the little Mac ten. You know what I'm saying? Come on here, take that homie. Come on, let go. So we go up to you. We go up. We go up. We go up on Avalon and use the phone. So boom, I I never forget. I'm calling my baby mama. I think. Yeah. So I'm calling her. So I'm talking. Boom. So when I get her on the phone, you know, I'm talking to. Her, I'm hunched over talking. So the little homie right there got got the heat hanging down by his leg. But now I'm, you know, I'm I'm talking. But I'm, you know, I'm I'm looking. I'm, you know, can't nobody watch you better. Than you can watch yourself. You feel me? So I'm I'm sweating I'm sweating the street too, man. Listen, as I'm sitting there, a car pull up and stop. Now you got the cars that's parked on the street, but another car come up and double park on the side of it. But it's a, like a little opening space, straight you know direct you know direct shot to me and the homie. So when the car pull up, the window down about this far. So when the car first pull up, don't nobody say nothing. Don't nobody say nothing. So I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm like, so I'm telling the homie, I'm like, cuz, man, get ready, fool. Get ready. Get ready, man. Get, come on, come on, get ready. But now he still ain't came up with the heat. So somebody say out the window, hey, uh, hey man, uh, ain't that cartoon? Cartoon, that's you. <laughs> what? Man, listen. Why I didn't take off right then, I don't know. Cause if I would have took off right then, man, I'd have man Usain Bolt couldn't have beat me. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. When it's time to go and get up out of there, I goes and I gets. <laughs> yeah, I get big. I could pick him up, put him down. So look, so you know, I'm 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 kind of like put the phone like like man, I'm looking. So I'm telling the little homie, I'm like, cuz bus, bus, fool, man, bus on him, bus. 
he done come up with the heat, but he ain't come all the way with it. He done just raised it up a little bit. It's still kind of point down toward the ground. So I'm telling this fool, I'm like, fool, bust, bust, bust. He looking at me, don't look at the car. So I'm like, fool, bust, man, bust on him. So the window come all the way down. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Hey, hey, man, hey. You know, hey, listen. When the window come all the way down, I dropped the phone. I completely just dropped the phone. I'm finna run him over because the direction I'm finna go, he's standing in the way. He finna get stepped. I'm finna step on him like Godzilla step on a little old taxi cab. Fool. What? Okay. But now before I just take off running, dude stick his whole face in the window. He like, big tune, homie, what's up? Okay, I happened to notice who it was. It wasn't no enemies. It was my homeboy, Ace Capone. So Ace Capone was just pulling up. He, you know, he had been gone. He was staying in, um, the homie was staying in, um, he was staying in, P no, not Pomona, but uh, he was staying in Linwood. Yeah, he was staying in Linwood at the time. He had moved up, he had, he had moved to Linwood. So he had just coming back and he seen me and recognized me. But anyway, okay, King, I'm ready for you. And so um, when I seen him, I'm like, dang, cuz, what's up, fool? What's up? So now we get out the car. We go to, he get out the car. We go to talking. So immediately after now, you know, my drilling come down some. I turn and look at the homie. Oh, I'm hot now. I'm hot as fish grease. I'm like, cuz, what's up with you, man? I, I told him, come on, come, come on, man. Come on, let's go back over here in the park. <laughs> we on our way back to the park. Man, I'm so mad. But now he the little homie. I love him. But I'm like, I'm like, homie, I can't, I can't, uh, we can't do this one no more. I tell my, I, we can't do this one no more, homie. You've been and got everybody killed. What's wrong with you? Man, that, I'm talking, man, that little old white trip mess you up that bad? Shh. I, I left him alone. He the homie, though. But now he bounced back. He, you know, take it from me. He bounced, he bounced back. He, he didn't bounce back with me, though. You know, he started doing other stuff on his own. Okay, okay, the master version. All right, King Real, I got you. I got you on me. I'm going to check it out. I wish I could play it now while I was on here with everybody. But anyway, yeah, the homie, he bounced back. Big homie did. Did Jamel Barnes have family from Avalon? You know what, man? I had a long talk. With uh, with a, with a, with a few homies today, cartoon just takes you the master version. I seen it. I seen it. It popped up. I wish I could play it on here. But anyway, Ray William Tune, what advice do you have for aspiring youngsters that want to follow your footsteps and get put on? If you can do it all over, would you still bang? Uh, I'm 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 gonna speak on I'm gonna speak on um on that Jamel thing, but I want y'all to kind of key in on this for a minute. He says, Tune. What advice do you have for aspiring youngsters that want to follow your footsteps and get put on? If you can do it all over, would you still bang? And okay, homie, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you straight up. You know, my life is already gone down a certain path. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm kicking 60 in the behind. Um, I done did I done did all I could do for the set. I did this prison stuff, the gang banging. I, that, that was my life. That was my life. I lived it. I did it. I don't have no regrets. You know what I'm saying? I did what I did. It's water under the bridge. You feel me saying? Boom. Some people might say, oh, well, you threw your life away. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's a lot of people that might have thrown their life away with this gang stuff. But if, if a person asks me, a youngster comes to me and asks me advice on if he should get put on the set or if he should go down that path. And, you know, at this point in time in my life, I would do any and everything in my power, homie, to deter that from happening. You know what I'm saying? I would do any and everything in my power to deter the youngsters of today from, you know, giving their life to this gang thing. You know what I'm saying? If, if you know, because there is no retirement plan. There is no 401k. There is no insurance. You know, this is not a job. This is. 
this is not the type well it's a job but it's not the type of job that i i, I feel that people should want to get into no more and I, um you know if they willing to leave their family to go sit in prison in why for a bunch of years or if they willing to take chance on being killed and just going through all the rigmarole that gangbanging can do, then that's for them. But me personally, I would do everything I can to stop a youngster from throwing his life away with this gang stuff, man. It, it's you know, it took me all these years to realize that it's not worth it. It just ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, yeah, true enough. I'm from Avalon, and I love Avalon. I love my set, but that was the choice I made for my life. You know, and I and with, since I went through it. And I know that there's there's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow when it comes to this gang banging stuff. There's no, you know, I'm not going to try to send another youngster down that path, homie. I'm just, I'm just not. Boom. Chili Willie. Okay, that's real talk. That's right, homie. Shouldn't have never joined. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say, you know, a BS gang. I'm just going to say, you know, there's there's better things that you can do with your life. Um, For instance... You know, I could have been a professional football player, man. I had scholarships out the wazoo. You know what I'm saying? I had I had many scholarships on me. I had man, I could have played. I could have played for um for San Diego State, uh, te uh Texas A and M. I could have played for Oklahoma. I could have played for Nebraska. Um, I could have played for TCU. Um, I could have played for Boise State. Um, who else? I had I had a you know few other little funny bunny little um scholarships, and you know I got my if if you ever watch the program um with the Rock, it's called Gridiron Game. If you watch that movie, it's a movie called Gridiron Game with the Rock, to where when they was in jail, they was playing these football. Well, that's based on a true story, and when I was in YA playing that foot, I was a monster, homie. I was a beast. You feel what I'm saying? I was a beast. And they had a they had a program, a high school football uh, program that you actually was. I mean, you know, college college scouts came. To, they came to watch us play. They literally came to watch us play. And if you are good enough, they were able to offer you scholarships and stuff like that. And I had them rolling in, man. That's how good I was. I played when I was in YTS. That's how good I was, man. And I was gonna go. I was gonna go to San Diego State. And um, you know, I I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't tear myself away from this game thing. I I just couldn't do it. Um, I was supposed to have been on co on campus for a walkthrough. You know what I'm saying? Where they walk you through and show you the campus. Cause I b basically verbally committed to to go to San Diego State. And um. I, I didn't go. I didn't go. Cartoon, would you have no doubt been Special Forces Ranger in the Army? For, uh, nah, I would never go to the Army. But um, I remember the coach at the time, he called and was looking for me. And, I, you know, I gave him a lie, told him the reason why I didn't, I'm not there. I had a family emergency and I had all this old stuff. And the following week, I didn't go. And the following week, I didn't go. And the following week, I ended up back in jail. I end up I end up going to prison. So, uh, you know. I could have been, I could have been, a, I'd have been retired by now many, many years ago with probably several businesses right now and just living the life of Riley. Whereas, you know, the, the road I chose to take, um, you know, you know, I, just out of prison uh, a few years and, um, you know, working, going to work every day when I could have been on easy street, you know, the streets, man, when I finally get this book all the way wrote, the name of it's going to be, a product of my environment. And um wait, let me see. Much respect. Sorry I never met you, bro. It's okay, Robert. Earl. It's okay, homie. So um, you know, yeah, I couldn't, me personally, I'm not gonna never direct no no youngster to live, you know, to go down that path of gang banging. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you say th bench press 315. Homie, at my match used to be 625. When I was showing up on that iron, my max was 625. What position did you play? I was defense, I was defensive end, homie, and middle linebacker. Um, I liked it the defensive end because it, it was it was less traffic on me getting to this quarterback. Uh, but because of my height, 
most coaches wanted to put me at the linebacker position, but I was a monster at either one of them. But defensive end was my thing. Austin, okay. That that's right, Jersey. You know, real talk, homie. Navarro Crip made me who I am. I'll never leave it and in a successful guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, I consider myself successful. <coughs> and I got a lot of homeboys that are very, 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 very successful right to this day. And you know what I'm saying? They was crippled to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? You 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 do have those that you know went down that game banging path. And they pulled themselves back up out of it and did some, you know, did some good with their lives. Not every, not, not every gangbanger or gang member is a, a failure story. You do have some success stories within this gang culture. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I, me personally, I'm not gonna guide a youngster to go down that path. Now, if a youngster goes down that path, I tell him, look, if you go bang, bang to the best of your, to the best of your ability. If that's what you're going to choose to do, despite what everybody else telling you, if you choose to do that, do it to the best of your ability, homie. Man, Anthony Bird, what's up, Toon? Some low tapping in from 970 East Coast. Mr. Anthony Bird from 970. Me and my little homeboy, uh, Suge, from 88, from 88, we had a, a discussion today about y'all, about the nine sevens. Cause we was talking about the YouTube thing and people be seeing me and hearing me. And you know, you know, the homie was like, he got, he got a, he got a few partners. He got a cousin and a few partners from nine seven. And, um, he was saying one of the characters on gridiron game went to drew when Michael played from now. Anyway. So he was saying that some of the homies from nine seven felt that I was kind of set tripping on them. So I'm like, huh, what you mean, uh, set trip? I'm, I'm not, you know, that's something I will never do on this internet, period. If I get along with your set or not, I will never, I will never disrespect nobody's set on this internet. No, that's, that's some punk stuff. But anyway, he was saying that because in some of my old stories, I said I was kicking it on 97. I'm like, what? I, it shocked me. What's up, Vani? Hold on, Vani. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you on me. Just keep just keep popping up. Uh, I don't really know how to drop the link, but just 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 keep sending me texts coming through. When I hit you, I'm gonna try. But anyway, I, and he was saying because I said I used to kick it on nine seven, and but I so when I tell him I said, "Cuz back in the day, I guess this had to have been something that came from some youngsters that's looking at things as they are today." Because you know, of course, you know, ain't nobody from Avalon just gonna be posted up on ninety seven and McKinley. You know what I'm saying? Not today. But like I'll tell him, I said, Cuz, did you explain to them that I was talking about way back in the 1980s, Cuz, in the mid-1980s, before there was any type funk or any type drama? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my girl, you know, my girl stayed right on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna call her my girl, but I was messing with her. You know, look, we Weeda and all them that stayed right there on 97th and McKinley, Cuz, right on the corner. So, you know, that's when I used to be over there. And, you know, man, I didn't I didn't roll with the nine sevens. I didn't put work in with the nine sevens before. You know what I'm saying? On, on some on some stuff. So I was like, huh? So I was like, man, you got you had to explain to them youngsters what they, they what they talk because it's some it's some G's from nine seven that if I showed up, they'd be like, big homie, what's up, cuz? Yeah, what's up, homie? And they tell their little homeboys, man, y'all, y'all, man, get out the way. Y'all be quiet. Y'all don't even know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? The, the homie right here, cuz, really, really rocked with us back in the day. You know, for real. But yeah. But that's how that went. Joey Owens, college football is the weekend. Yes, man. Yeah. Vine, oh, Vine, okay. Come, come play with. Will you do a video on your first time in prison where you nervous and who was there with you running into turtle, etc.? My first time, I can't say I was nervous, homie. Because you got to look, I'm a YA baby. You feel me? I'm a YA baby. So coming up out that YA system, we, you know, hey, we, we bought it, bought it regardless. And then plus, with me sitting in the county jail, I had so much schooling from the homies, Turtle being one of them. I had so much schooling. It's like, you know, I was good to go. You know, when I, when I, hey, I come up in there, you know, uh, ready to, ready to rock steady and get down like Freddie, you know, you know, looking to prove myself and, you know, 
And then my thing is, you know, I, you know, I'm looking to show everybody, yeah, you know, Avalon got some real riders from the set, so you know, I wasn't fit to pump the game. Yeah, Suma from Compton, yeah. Share big tune live, like us. Okay, Joy on, go Trojans, Trojans. I ain't got no problem with the Trojans. I ain't got no problems with with, with the Pac-12, none of that. My problem is with Alabama. Love Auburn, hate Alabama. Simple as that. Any other football team, I ain't got nothing bad to say about them. They're not my problem. Love Auburn, hate Alabama. You know any 30 par rules? Yeah, I know, I know some of them. Don't forget to come back to that Jamel. Oh, okay, yeah. The Jamel Barnes conversation. Oh, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, age 30, I'm glad you said it because I did forget. Okay. A lot of y'all keep asking me about Jamel Barnes. Jamel Barnes, Jamel Barnes. Okay. Jamel Barnes, remember. <sighs> yeah. Jamel Barnes, you know, at one time, <clears throat> he, you know, he was an OG. He was original Crip. He was OG figure from back in the day. He was. He really was. Um, and I oh, and I keep telling y'all, okay, Jamel did not, you know, as far as 116th Street, 5 Trey, or 40th Street, Jamel had nothing to do with those Avalon factions. What he had to do with was the Avalon Gardens, the 88th Streets. Now, of course, the Avalon Gardens were already there. They were already, you know, before Crippen started, <coughs> the Avalon Gardens was a little clique, a little crew. They was the Avalon Garden boys. So, you know, excuse me, that was their thing. What Jamel did, now Jamel was very influential. He is the one who put Crip on the name of the Avalon Gardens. Because, you know, from my understanding, it's a lot of homies in the Avalon Gardens, the older homies at one time, they didn't want to be Crips. They didn't want that title. But Jamel pushed it on there. So he is the reason why the Avalon Guards became Crips. He was influential. He put the Crip tag on the end of the Avalon Guards. But, you know, that was back then, you know, due to some of the things he's been through and went through mentally over the last few years, the homie done went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He lost, kind of lost his mind. He's not all there anymore. And so, you know, a lot of homies just really don't pay attention to him like that. You might have some older homies that he grew up with from the Avalon Guards that kind of, you know, look at him in a certain type way or still hold him in high esteem. But the majority of Avalons just really don't pay no attention to uh, Jamel no more because he didn't he didn't lost it up here. Simple as that. Old Miss. Oh, you like Old Miss? OK. Michigan State. OK. On the quick, quick. Uh huh. Michigan Wolverines. I like the Wolverines. Before I was a uh before I was an Auburn fan, I was a Mich I was a Michigan Wolverine fan. Kobe T always work out to your live videos. Much okay. Uh much respect, homie. I know all your stepkids or your wife is like moms to me and exactly ain't no such a okay, homie. 340 watching with 160 with 169 life. Look at that. Look at that. Austin say it's 340 people and only 169 likes. That hurts my spirit. Am I gonna cry about it? No, not tonight. Hold on, let me kill my kid. Come here, come here, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. You see, when when the going really gets tough and y'all hurt my feelings, I can depend on my partner. My little partner go always, you know, make me feel better. This all he want to do, y'all, is just lay there. Look at the camera. For y'all who don't know, I know they twins and you can't tell them apart. But this is boy, boy. This is this is this this is my this is my one. This this my this is my baby right here. This is boy, boy. The other one is girl, 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 girl. The one I showed y'all that little that little heifer don't want to sit still. But I'm let y'all look at boy boy. Look at him boy boy. Look at him. This all he want. Look at look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. You rub him. Oh yeah, you do like that, don't you like that? Oh, you see his face. You can tell when you get yeah. You make that face when you go to scratch it. They like look 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 y'all look look. Yeah, he like that. Yeah, don't he like that? Yes, he do. Yeah. Yeah. Then my partner, y'all. Then my little partner right here, right? 
I love him. Look at him. Now he can. Yeah, he enjoying that. He can turn into an attack cat. At any given moment, he can turn into an attack cat. He tough. He tough. He just ain't no love ball like that. You know, get close up on him. Let him know. Let him know. You know, how many of y'all got scared? I know some of y'all got scared. But anyway, that's enough of the boy boy show. Somebody say, do 11-6 still push A-line? Of course, they Avalon still. A-line, all, all of us are A-lines. A-line is just an abbreviation for Avalon. You know what I'm saying? If you don't feel like saying out the whole word, you just say A-line. Any plans on moving back to L.A.? Not A-1. Not A-1. Man, I'm hot. I'm, sw I'm sweating like an like a Egyptian slave. Uh, two, you a goof. He say, he say uh, look, he say, two, you a goof. I, I, I am, homie. I, you know, I will admit I'm somewhat goofy, you know. I'm goofy. Got to be transparent, though. See, you got some people, homie, they're going to get on this Internet and they're going to they gonna, they gonna try to play tough. They're going to try to, uh, you know, you know, play the tough role. Uh, they're going to play. They're going to talk tough. They're going to play tough. They're going to try to look tough. They're going to go dress up and do all that old crazy stuff. For what, man? You know, just be yourself. If you're goofy, you're goofy. If you're a nerd, you're a nerd. If you're hard, you're hard. If you're soft, you're soft. You know, just be yourself. Those who like you, gonna like you. Those who don't like you, just don't like you. You know, it is what it is. You know, Ricky Smooth, if I'm passing through your hood, would your homies give me a pass if I tell them I know you? Oh, well, it depends on what set you're from. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Come on, C-Mom. What's up, Cartoon? What's up, homie? Dark Universe. Oops. I, I, I couldn't read it, homie. Four or five boys over oh, 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 you just okay, Navarro. Uh that's facts. Keep it real. That's real, homie. Cuz better watch it. That was disrespectful. What was that, homie? Hold on. Start post blah. Put user channel star comment. Dang, I'm trying to bring you. I'm trying to bring you in, Vonnie. I'm trying to bring you in, homie.
Oh, I be dang. Man, listen. I don't know what happened, y'all. I don't know what happened. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Man, my bad. Hold on. Man, look. I don't know what happened. Okay. One okay, what's really going on? It's raining. It's raining. I'm talking about it's raining cats and dogs, homie. And it keep knocking out my it keep knocking out the internet. It keep killing it keep killing the internet. So when it kills the internet, you already know it kills the stream yard. And so that's what that's what just happened then. Um my bad. I don't know how long I was gone. We went from we went from almost 400 people down to 170. Do you think that humans were genetically engineered by aliens? Well, god dang. A uh, shoot. Uh, I, I, I can't say I can't say you know, hey. <clears throat> I believe in a lot of stuff, homie. But uh Rakal Vedanta. I can't say I believe in that one though. Much respect to OJ Carter. You know we rock with it. That's right, homie. Thank, thank you, Brown New. Yeah, I can't say that one. Hey, the homie asked me, do I think aliens made humans? <clears throat> No, God made us. <laughs> Dope gang 700. Big homie, what's up? Double O. Okay, homie, what's happening? Brown new. Vladimir Putin was trying to say on us. Vladimir Putin, what'd he do? Yak Williams. What happening, Low? What's up, cuz? Boom. On the grind. What's up, homie? Okay, movie star. Any Ice Mike stories? Man. <laughs> The only ice Mike still been look back. I remember back in the early eighties when um when Mike used to come in the hood a lot. Man, boy, look here. All my homegirls just go crazy over Ice Mike. That was one fly dude, homie. Mike was fly as on him. Man, he was fly than a fool on a hand glider. And uh the homegirls loved him. You know the love, man. He was a rider though. But you know, he you know, he got his own church. He preaching now, you know. Uh, yeah, I, man, I lost my internet, homie. I lost my internet. That's what happened. God created all beings. Tell him again, 405. Were you locked up with anyone from West Covina? Mm-hmm. 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 The uh you talk about the West Covina in hoods? Yeah, man. I had a, a partner back in like 1980. We was in Y together. Big a big green-eyed, light-skinned dude named Big Sinbad from West Covina in Hood. I don't know if you know him. I don't know if the West Covina in hoods are still out, but yeah, big duck from West Covina in hood. Yeah. Doge, only God can make man. That's right. What do you think about Hebrew Israelites views? I don't know what their views are, homie. Do you think some aliens live among us observing our habits? I wouldn't put it past them because now one thing just, you know, God made man. Who's to say God didn't make something else? You know. The true ones. Yes. Yes, bad is out now. Oh, uh, send bad from um. Is he uh, what he look like? Is he still up? Is he still got a little size on him? You know, he's still looking up the park, still doing his thing. I don't know. I ain't seen man. The last time I seen Big Bad was in nineteen was in nineteen eighty, homie. Cartoon man, if it's raining like that, it's gonna keep knocking out the video. So okay, homie, go at night. But you might still have to go live when it's not raining that much. I know Austin. I know, homie. I know Austin, Texas. I know. I don't think it might happen again. Hopefully it don't. I kind of, while it was out, I kind of moved some stuff around. Hopefully that's going to take care of it. I, we might be all right. You know, gangster squirrel from the swamps. No, I don't know. I don't know squirrel from the swamps, homie. From the swamps, homie. GS Vision. Looking good. Okay, homie. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's gonna knock out no more. Hopefully, ho hopefully it won't. It won't. 
But yeah, yeah. In case y'all know, man, I got in trouble today. I got in trouble today from YouTube. They gave me a strike. Yeah, they they got on me bad, homie. I've seen first thing when I got up this morning, I seen it, and what it was. If y'all remember, cartoon, you still get your Chinese food. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, what it was, um. They got mad at me because of the conversation we all had a couple of days ago when I was speaking on on the, the COVID-19 situation. They didn't like none about what I was saying. They let me know and then they let me know in no uncertain terms. Don't do it again. You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> you know? Um, tune. What set? What, what set you fist fight against? What set do I fist fight against? Fist fight against? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, already, Hakeem. Already, man. Let's go to Tams. Which Tams, homie? Joy, Joy. Which Tams? You know, I you know, I like me some Tams, homie. Back in the day, boy, them chili cheese fries with the pastrami meat on top. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Just say virus, okay. They don't play about cold. Yeah, I'm here. I'm not. Yeah, I see. It won't happen no more. Another day, another dollar. Let's donate at least a dollar to. <laughs> hey, man. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay. Okay. AV, Monique. Okay. Joey Owens. Monique Hill. What's, what's your email tune? Dang, I didn't put it up. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna send it across the banner. Okay, I'm gonna send it. But the cold part about it, I don't know. The e. The see, I got my new email too. I got it yesterday, and it's in the phone. But I would have to come out the live to get it, and I don't really want to do that, man. And I. And I know I told you. I said next time I come back on, I was gonna have that email, and I didn't do it, man. I'm very remiss. In my actions. Big B Compton. Yeah, they watching. The Hoogers be up there. The, the Hoogers be up where? At the Tams? Which one? You know what I'm saying? I used to go to the one right there on, um, yeah, and the Hoogers be at the one right there on, on Vernon and Figueroa. I used to always go to that one. My little homeboy got killed up there too. My homie V-Hog from IBC got killed by him because his homie got scared with the strap and did shit. Yeah, homie, you know, that stuff happens, man. You got to you you go you got that you got that thing in your hand. You got to use it. Ricky Smooth at Cartoon. You rap? <laughs> no, not at all. Don't know nothing about it. Yeah, uh, go young DJ. You missed the story, homie. You you missed it. You know you missed it. But about about a, about a hundred viewers ago. <laughs> you know. I understand. Mo Monique, I'm sorry, man. I, 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 I'm really sorry. I, baby girl, I got you. <clears throat> when I go in there, I'm going to write it down and I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to put it on there. I'm, I'm going to have it where it stream across. You know I'm kind of still learning this thing, but I'm going to have it where it stream across and it's like, boom. Because I was going to use it for the uh, for the t-shirt thing. Um, A drinking and cigar journey with Eric Lethem. Well, okay, Eric Lethem, just look at the bottom right here. Just look at the bottom of my, right there by my picture, and it's up. The cash app is up. You should be able to see it. You might think that's just my name, but no, that's my cash app. You got to look right there. Okay, I'm from San Diego and spent summers in LA 90s, and we always got pressed. Mm. All good. I'm a double back. Okay. <laughs> Tacoma in the house. All right, what's up, Tacoma? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's happening with that with that with the heel top. You know what I'm saying? Boy, boy, things, hey, boy, it was jumping on that heel top, man. Out there in Tacoma, that heel top was jumping. Ooh, we. Boy, if that wasn't little South Central, I paid for it. So cartoon, keep going, big bro. K ASAP 718. Big Tune, did you ever function with the PJs in prison? Yeah. Had a lot of partners from the PJs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of partners. I'm T Town, but I'm from uh, Joe Frank, I'm in T-Town. Oh, okay. Well, you, A's up, homie. You know. 
Peace and blessings. What's up, Dad? What's up, Devin Knox? What's up, homie? You doing okay? That's what's right. I've been checking. I've been checking your thing out over there on Instagram, homie. You know, you're doing your thing. Okay. Monique, we call the Tams on Rosecrans and Central. Suge joint. For real? Okay. 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 You know, I got ran out. I got ran out the House of Blues one night. I ain't gonna say got ran out the House of Blues when Suge and them, Suge and them was coming in. This was back in the 90s. <clears throat> it was just too many of them. <clears throat> I used to always tell homies, man, I want to get down with Suge Knight. I want to get down with him. I want to get down with him. And that night was a perfect opportunity. It's just it was only a handful of us and about 120 or 30 of them. Mm -mm. No, no, no. It won't be tonight. <laughs> think. What up, Carter? Okay, think. New money. Do you mess with 12, 14 grapes? Uh, I don't know what that is, homie. Yak. How far from ATL and how often do you go? Man, Yak, man, I go to ATL almost. Lately, I've been going almost every weekend because we go there and buy them lottery tickets. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to, look, was going to go yesterday to get me some lottery tickets. But, you know, my wife slept late. I put it on her. <laughs> but, yeah, man, uh. You know, she slept late and we just didn't go. But yeah, I go all the time. So who were some of the big names from 88 Avalons? Oh, a lot of, a lot of, oh man, come on. Whew. Man, a lot of big names from 88. A lot of big names. DG, if a villain move out of state and land, hold on, I want to ask, I want to hear that. If a villain move out of state and land right next door to you and he's from your generation, is it on? No. 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 -uh. No, 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 no. No. Uh-uh. I would not, uh-uh, no. You know, as long as he respectful to me, I'd be respectful to him, and we'd be cool. You know, the fact that, you know, it, you, things tend to change when you out of state like that. When you in state, when you in Cali, when you in L.A., you know, it's whatever, whatever. But when you way out of state like this, and you tend to bump into people that's from, you know, L.A. like that, it don't, you know, y'all tend to get along. Y'all tend to just get along because you're so far away from home. And and then at, at this day and age, the age I am, I don't really care. I don't really care where people are really from no more. I don't really set trip. <clears throat> I don't really get into that type of thing. You know, I am where I'm from and I am who I am. And if a person disrespect me, then that's something different. But if a person calm, cool, collected with me, then I'm calm, cool, collected with them, no matter where they're from. I'm, I'm, it's all good. Was there any black gangs in L.A. that didn't turn blood or crip? Before Crips came out, yeah. Before before Crips came out, yeah. But after Crips came out, no. Nah. Other than the little hustler gangs, you know, the little hustler Crips, new money. Um, but, but Avalon Gordon still active. Devin, Devin, Devin Massa. Is Avalon Gordon still active? Very active, homie. Very, are they still active? Yes. Yes. They are very, very active. Being struck from all platforms. It's best to say virus. I, I understand. I got you. Good answer. Think Tar Heels and Nittany Lions. What up with Auburn? Auburn, Auburn is the truth, homie. You know what I'm saying? Auburn make the world go round. You know, a hey, U, orange and blue, homie. You know them Auburn football tigers. Y'all know what's up. D the factor on Imperial and Avalon. D the factor. Okay, Dark Toon. Do the Avalons have any connections with with the what? What the heck? What the heck was that? I don't know what that was. Ruby Doe Project Crips in Riverside. Nah, that's too far away. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Let's go, Bulldogs. Ooh, uh, the Fresno Bulldogs? You begging. 211, you begging is the truth. I don't really beg, homie. If you see it that way, I'm sorry. Devin, I was with some brothers from the Brickyard and Six Dudes Brim. The Brickyard, the Brickyard. You talking about the, the, the brickyard in Alabama or the brickyard in Long Beach? Joey Owens, you lucky I love Bo Jackson. That's right, homie. You know what I'm saying? Bo one of the Bo one of the reasons why I turned to Auburn fan. That's what's up. You sell Bruins all day. Okay, do you know about 
BSC. Yeah, the Backstreet. Yeah, Backstreet Crips, 109th Street. Yeah, that's an old set. That's an old gang right there, homie. Have you ran any Miller G's in the pen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy Cash, Sammy Cash, Tasha Cash, 120th. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, let me see. Tommy Cash. Well, it was one. I know one of the. I was doing time with one of them Cash boys. I think I don't know because they just called him Big Cash. Now, whether it was Tommy or not, I don't really know. Willie Chill, big homie. Word is that the '60s was behind the Quando Rondo. What's your take on that? I I can't really call it, homie. For what I understand, you know, Quando Rondo claimed six zero. So you know, I don't know. You know, like I say, I don't I don't know the little boy. I ain't never heard his music. Don't know nothing about his politics. What he got going on? I don't even know where the little boy is originally from. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know. Bo Jackson is one of the greatest. Yes, he is. Hey, cartoon, want to know if you knew Suma from Compton? Yeah. Okay, uh, Crenshaw Grinder. If you put that road tie stuff on my screen one more time, you going in timeout, buddy. Auburn. We don't do Alabama. What happened to 50 Crip taking on a stretcher over Alabama? Oh, Ernest, what happened to 50 Crip taking on a stretcher over Alabama. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, homie. I don't know who 50 Crip is and it got took on a stretcher. I don't know, homie. You might have to break it down a little bit more to me. Pete, Bo knows. That's right. Snoopy Mag. Oh, you just now coming in, huh? Foundation Nation, homie. Foundation Nation. Dominique, he from Atlanta. He claimed, oh, okay. He from Atlanta? I don't know. You know, me personally, I mean, if you ask me, <clears throat> Me personally, I believe that whatever type of beef Quando Rondo had, whatever his name is, had out in these other states, I believe they knew he was going to L.A. and they followed him and got off on him in L.A. That's what I that's what I believe. Now, I could be wrong, but that's what I believe. You know. Quando need to stay in Georgia. Kelly ain't for the on-job training. <laughs> Ricky Smooth, Rondo the basketball player. No, nah, homie. Where's your Auburn clothing? Everywhere. You don't see me with, with it on all the time. Let me see. Oh, no. You know? Let me see. You know, you know? It's everywhere. <laughs> it's big bad tigers, homie. You know. Yeah, we everywhere, Mike. Everywhere. I'm talking about, man, it's everywhere, homie. My whole little man cave is Auburned out. You better know it. Nah, he dissed the Hoovers. Yeah, he did do that, but I don't know if the Hoovers the one got at him. I don't know. Oh, man. Samuel, you just going over my questions. That co No, what did you ask me, Samuel? Ask me again. Salute the king. Ask me what you asked me again, homie. <clears throat> Sometimes <clears throat> the questions will go real fast, and I'll miss them. Cartoon, what's the deal? Uh, if you talk about that Alabama stuff you just said, you, you got dang right, I'm going to look over it. But if you ask me something different, I'm sorry if I missed it. Charles Barkley was a Tiger, yeah. He from Savannah, Georgia, okay. What's up, OG San Diego checking in, originally from Alabama, been here since 89. Okay, War Eagle, he said War Eagle, y'all. <laughs> DG, you have a fight yourself in prime right now, what's your plan? Mm, it went. I couldn't even read it good, homie. Did you and Swanee Fly run to each other? Back? Just, man, me and me. Let, let me see that. He asked me about Swanee Fly. He, uh, yeah, me and Swanee Fly. He was my biggest. No disrespect, cartoon. I'm a college football fan. Okay, it's cool. I just be I just be clowning on me. Big football. Yeah, but you asked me about Swanee Fly. Yeah, that was my um main nemesis. He was my main nemesis. Okay, Eric. Good looking out. He was my main nemesis at one time <clears throat> from from um from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? From back in the day, yeah. Charles Barkley put Auburn on the map. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Deuce the Factor said Charles Barkley did not. Bo Jackson did that. You know? Boom. Um, man, I was looking for my homeboy, man. I was looking for my homeboy, um. Um, 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 my homeboy Vonnie Lowe. Vonnie Lowe. Oh, man, Michael, if you still if you still looking, homie, 
man, let me know so I can try to, I can pull you in. Okay, Eric. Yeah, if you still, if you still there, homie, let me know some so I can pull you in. Tune, can I get my wrench? You know what? We finna figure this out now. See, now I'm gonna go to touching these buttons and messing up, and then when the whole feed just get killed, then you know y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, because you are truly. Let me see. Uh oh, that's, ah, that look good. Damn, why? Cartoon, I love your leadership, and I hope you can unify all the black gang, Crips, and Bloods like the Mexican gangs are because you are a true leader. Larry Martin, I will sure try, homie. I will sure try because if we don't unify, if we do not unify, we are going to become extinct. You know, we are going to come extinct. We have to band together as a people. And, and and circle the wagons and do what we supposed to do or we will become extinct we going to be we go we go we going to be the minority and in a lot of states we are the minority now people better wake up cartoon how you handle that bgf and blue nose being an avalon oh well okay well i'm a blue nose homie so I don't, it's not what I really, it, you know, how I handle it, you know, they, I didn't, I didn't fool with them, you know, I didn't fool with them. I didn't fool, I didn't fool the BGF. I let them do what they do. You know what I'm saying? As long as they stayed out my way, I stayed out that way. Unless I was given an order to do otherwise. And, you know, it was what it was then. Who do you know from Backstreet? Oh, a few homies, like the homie Big Speedy. You know what I'm saying? Me and, me and OG Big Speedy from Backstreet. We rocked out in that prison system together. Wow, real talk, Miss Cartoon, FAQs. In many Cali towns, we fade out in demographics. Yeah. Yeah, that's real, homie. Man, let me show you something. When I first, when I first came to the Alabama prison system, it was um their prison system is all black. I mean, you know, it's black and white. It was black. It, it, I, I could say it was. It was it was a uh, seventy percent black, and maybe no seventy five percent black, twenty five percent white. None but blacks. None but blacks. Um, I didn't see no. And like I said, now y'all know I did twenty three straight out here. I never. I had never seen an Asian in a prison. I'd never seen a Samoa. I'd never seen nothing else. Nothing. <clears throat> I was in the system. I was in the system out here for about. 10 or 12 years, about, about between 10 to 15 years before I seen my first Mexican. Before I seen my first Mexican, y'all, I've been locked about here about 10 or 12, 10 to 15 years. Boom. By the time, it just won now, just one. By the time I went home, by the time I ended up paroling in every prison, it was 20 or more. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? They're here. <laughs> yeah. Pete, rolling on the Greyhound on my way to South Central LA, born and raised. Okay, homie. Conrad Roberts. Was he a South Sider? No. Pisces. None, none, none but Pisces. I ain't never seen a um a Cholo, a Cholo Mexican out here, but I'm quite sure they're gonna come. I'm quite sure they they on their way. OG Tune, if you're trying to Mod a wrench up, just click on the person's name and it will say moderator, block, delete. So just click. Okay, we're gonna see right now and we're gonna see. Okay, I got you. Uh, type it again, Snoopy Mac. We're we gonna see what he's talking about. Think human first, proletariat. I don't know. Do you know the capital of Catalina Island? Uh, uh, Bish Bash. The capital of Catalina Island is Bishbash. So who run Alabama prisons? As far as race or gangs, if you're speaking on race, blacks. If you're speaking on gangs, it depends on what prison you're in. Um, some prison is going to be Bloods. Some prisons is going to be Crips. Some prisons is going to be the GDs. It just depends on what prison you're in. Then you got some prisons 
where they just going at it to see who gonna run it. Those blacks ain't got no choice but to unify. That's right, homie. And when and when I and when it look like they ready to unify, I'm gonna be on the front of the line, pushing pushing that narrative. Unity. You know what I'm saying? Pride, black pride, homie. You know. I'd um see the thing is, see now let me show you something. When people, when people hold on, okay, hold on. Let me see. Get Snoop back. Let me see. Bang. It say star comment, put user in timeout or block user. So I can't do none of that. Okay. See what happened? You see what I'm saying? When I go to push it in buttons, don't make me push the buttons. Don't make me push the buttons. It messes us up. But what I was going to say, as with like people, you know, people um, had like some, I've seen people say some certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? When it, when it, when it comes, see, look, when it comes to race, race is a very touchy subject. Is a very touchy subject. You know what I'm saying? If you say the wrong thing, you're going to offend your own people. If you say the wrong thing again, you're going to offend other people. You know what I'm saying? So, it, and it's hard It's hard to get around that. Me, me personally, uh, now, you know, okay, you have what's called a racist, you have what's called a bigot, and you have what's called, a, you know, prejudiced. Now, people like to wrap all three of those in through the same category, but really the bad term is a bigot or somebody that's prejudiced. A racist doesn't always mean that you're against someone else's race. It just means that you're pro your race. You feel what I'm saying? That, you know, your race comes first and foremost in your heart and mind, but it doesn't mean that you don't like other races. You know what I'm saying? For instance, like us in LA, you know, we, we grew up, we grew up with Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Man, I got, I got a lot of Mexican partners, man. I got a lot, a lot of Mexican partners on me. And, um, it don't, it don't really, it don't really go bad like that. You know what I'm saying? Blacks and Mexicans should be this close. I ain't gonna lie, homie. Blacks and Mexicans should be this cool with each other. Really, 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 because we going through the struggle, <clears throat> you know, they didn't. OK, they didn't have to go through the slavery that we went through. But other than that, the, the, the stripes and struggles that we where we went through in L.A., you know, blacks go through it. The Mexicans go through it. We you know, we, we, we both go through it. So we you know, us as a people with the Mexicans, we should really be coming together trying to get all we can from the powers that be. Them white folks. So, you know, but sometimes, you know, you uh, the, the people's pride get in the way. You know what I'm saying? People's pride get in the way and people want to be, oh, well, we want we want to be better than them. Well, we want more than them. Well, we want this. We want that. And, you know, anytime that comes into it, it's, it's all it's, it's it, 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 it kind of get messed up. You know, it kind of get messed up. So, you know, if you're not real good with your words and you're not proficient in what you're trying to say, when it comes to race topics, it probably would be better just to leave it alone altogether. You know, did Jamel Barnes join the set or started Avalon Gangsters? He didn't start Avalon Gangsters, homie. He put Crip on the Avalon Guards. The Avalon Guards was already there. They were already their own entity. Jamel just put the Crip on their name. On the 88 Avalons, the Gardens. He didn't have nothing to do with all the other Avalons, just them. Je the Mexican Raza marched with the Black Panthers. It depends on where when you were raised, where and when. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Mexican blacks and Mexicans, man, have been hand in hand in, in a lot of struggles, man. You know, a lot of struggles. And you have, you know, you got everyone don't love us yet. Capitalize our pain here. Yeah, everybody don't love us yet. But, you know, you just have some people that like to try to throw throw mess in and bring 
bring strife. You know, you just got to get away from that. Big homie, did you get along with the Mexicans in the low bottoms? Yeah. 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 I, look, I'm going to tell you a story one time. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a story. Okay, now, as y'all know, you know, um, you know, my set, the five travel lines, we, we, we share our hood with, the, with a Mexican gang called the East Side Playboys. Okay, now, now, I don't know how that works out for the, for the East Side Playboys in prison because that gang right there has more blacks from it than any Mexican gang in L.A. I would be willing to bet that. I would be willing to bet that the East Side Playboys, <clears throat> they, have more they have more blacks in their gang than any Mexican gang in L.A. If you go to YouTube, You'll see, you'll see all, you'll see two, three different um, black dudes rapping. You know they rappers, but they from Eastside Playboys. You know, and it's always been that way. It's always been that way. Now look, uh, that's my, uh, that's my question. I want to know. You know, I couldn't tell you. I don't know who exactly started the Lem Sixes. I don't know. I don't know. Cartoon. Who was the main glue? Who was the main glue? Gangster car for the Fire Travel Lines and H Track Gangs. Who the main glue? I don't know what you mean by glue, but you know the A-Track gangsters, they are more into the gangster car than Avalons are. You know what I'm saying? They they more into that. They holler gangster moving and all that. The Avalons don't. But anyway, back to the Playboys. Um, one time, years ago, years and years and years ago, the West, the original Playboys, the West Side Playboys, they came over to South Park to kick it with the East Side Playboys. Now, of course. The, the you know they coming out that that East LA or wherever whatever area they in you know they the West Side Playboys they coming from over there where it ain't no blacks so they not used to seeing us they not used to being around us like that none of that so when they came and they came to the hood you know boom the homies there everywhere the homies there you know what I'm saying so they at first was like wondering like tripping like hey homes you know you know boo 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 like they want to start something. And the East Side Playboys had to check them and let them know, like, hey, homie, oh, no, 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 don't come over here with that. We get along with them cats. We kick it with them cats. They let them know that this was their hood <clears throat> before they even showed up. So they let them know. So we, we, we see them every day. We kick it with them. We don't have them type problems over here that y'all have over there in East L.A. or Boyle Heights, Echo Park or where, where are they from? They don't, you know, the East, the East Side Playboys don't get on. And they, they, they let them know that, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. It's kind of, I guess, where you come up at. Deuce, the, the, S, the SFV, Watts Body or Grape Street, mixed game. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know, great, you know, well, yeah, Grape Street, but now you have two different, you got the Grape Street Crips, then you got the Grape Street Essays. You know, they don't, it, it ain't mixed up a lot like that. <coughs> but the East Side Playboys, they mixed up, mixed up. They got blacks and Mexicans and all that. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, you know. The Playboys from West LA. Mm. Okay, did you know OG Cave Man from A Trey Gangster? Yeah. Hebrew Israelite. Oh, missed it. What up, Cartoon? Florence gang up in here. What's up? What's up? What's up, F13s? What's up, homie? Man, I had a man, I had a partner man. From F13, he was a black dude though. Um, he was in Y with me. Oh boy, this boy was so good with his hands. I forget his name. We was cool though. I forget his name though, man. I can't think. Was it um? I can't remember his name though. He but he was F13 out. That boy was a monster with them hands though. Sheesh. Did I know? Do I know Turtle? Yeah, I talked. I just talked to Turtle today. Did you ever run into the 38th streets in the library? Yeah, I used to go to. I used to go to school with 38th Street. Grape Street, oh, let me see. They said, boom. Grape Street still a Mexican game because they came first. Blacks just added Crip. Uh, well, yeah, Grape Street is still a Mexican game, but you also do have the Grape Street Crips. You know what I'm saying? The, the Grape Street 13s, they do their thing, and the Grape Street Crips do their thing, you know? West LA General, Playboy 13 in Mid City. Oh, okay, well, somewhere over there. Cara de Sacra, huh? Cara, how do you pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> the Foundation Nation, man. Jacques Aldridge. Was it Skip from F13? 
Was it Skip? Was it Skip? That sounds familiar. I don't think it was Skip, though. Was it Skip? I don't think it was Skip, though. He was, he was kind of light-skinned, had size on him. I know he was a monster from the shoulders, though. Sheesh. Representing that A-line. Joe Frank, okay. Did you ever run into T. Rogers? From the, nah, I ain't never ran into T. Rogers, homie. I ain't never ran into him. He was a funny-looking dude, though, wasn't he? He was a funny-looking little son. He looked like he was born too soon. It's Scarface in Spanish. Oh, okay. I can't pronounce it, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew Smokey from F-13. Black and Mexican dude. He was my neighbor in 99. Oh, that's my homeboy. That's my homeboy, Devin, y'all. He knew Smokey. Hey, it's one dude. It's one dude. Um... He be on the internet. Uh, he a black dude, but you know he he from a he from a, he from a Mexican gang. He's oh he been he been he been from he been from he been over there with the Mexicans all his life. But he be on um <coughs> YouTube telling his story. Uh, King Nico. Hey, if y'all ever y'all ever check him out, check him out. Hey, he a funny dude though, man. He fun. He's funny. Is I don't know what man. He good people too. I kind of I, I like that cat. On forty first, I'm from the D, and it was Playboy. Cr okay. Dark Universe. Okay, what's the legend? Uh, kind of Nico, King Nico. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I don't. What Kara? Uh, what video is is King Nico from? <laughs> but he's a funny dude to be though. Fast Cash Dave. Yo, I just looked up T Rogers. Okay, Great KLG Rogers was a gangster on Blackstone. Mm -hmm. Chris, did the Avalons ever have any problems with the bounty hunters or other Watts? Uh, the eleven six Avalons used to get into it with the bounty hunters. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, he blacks a kid. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He blacks a kid. Mom, Mexican, dad. Black. Oh, so one of his parents are Hispanic? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I thought both of his parents were black. But okay, one of his parents are are, are Hispanic. Cause I know he speaks Spanish good as I don't know what. Not sure, but somewhere in South Central. Is it in? No, I thought he was from East LA. He from South Central. I thought from East LA. No, okay, he said, okay, ED23 say he from San Gabriel Valley. Tune, you ever ran into the AFCs? What, what, what is that? What does AFC mean? King Nico funny. Yeah, he funny. Okay, Jamel Barnes put the crip on Avalon, so he wasn't the founder of Avalon before the crip. Yeah, he put the crip on Avalon Gardens, on the 88th Street Avalon's. He didn't put Crip on all the Avalons, period. I say again, Jamel didn't have nothing to do with 40 Avalon, 5 Trey Avalon, or 11 6 Avalon. He didn't have nothing, nothing to do with them, period. <clears throat> Only thing he had something to do with was the 88 Avalons, the 88 Streets, the Avalon Gardens. He put Crip on the end of the Avalon Gardens because before that, they were, the Avalon, they were the Avalon Garden boys. Then he changed from Avalon Garden boys to Avalon Garden Crips. Bang. Neil Tazad is a Blacksican. <clears throat> what video is he from? I be seeing that dude, but he be beefing with so many people, I don't even really watch him. Oh, CJ, oh, AFCs. You, I ain't never met them. I've heard them. They over there in the bottom somewhere, all for crime, but I ain't never really met nobody from there. Yeah, they right by Jeff. Yeah, I don't think he's ever said where he's from. Okay. Did you ever run into OG Bop? From the from the jungles, uh uh. I seen some of his stuff on YouTube when he was doing skits. Uh, Neil Tazad is a okay AFC. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I got that. Did you ever run into OG? Okay yeah, we got that. Boop 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 boop. boop. We going up. We going up on a Tuesday. You did time with any Pomona Mafia Crips? Yeah I I yeah I did time with uh, dude from the West Side Mob. And I did time. I did some time with dude from uh from from the Angelos from Angelo Mafia. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, what you think? What you think? Well, I told you I'm a walking encyclopedia when it comes to this gang stuff, homie. I know. Yeah, the Pomona West Side Mob. You know, you know uh, the uh, uh the AMC Angelo Mafia Crip in Pomona. Yeah, mate. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you three times. <laughs> Thank you, man. Austin, okay, 88 Avalon is where he put Crip on it. Thank you. Yes, that's right, Austin. Yeah, just 88. That's it. AGCs versus Eastside Bloods, Peblos Outlaw. Well, AGCs get along with the Peblos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Avalon, uh, well, five Trey Avalons and the Peblos, they 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 get along. They get along. 
but they do. Uh huh. You ran into leader of the Swan, Clyde Dexter. <coughs> I need some water. <coughs> Did I do any time to Watergate? Yeah, LA Watergate. <coughs> and the Santa Ana Watergate. Yeah, I know people from both of them. Ricky Smooth, do I know any of them? <coughs> yeah, I know a whole lot of them. Homie. They right there next to us. <coughs> <laughs> Easy Quiddos. Uh, the two, uh, I can't really, nah, they're not active no more, homie. <clears throat> Both of those groups kind of went off into the sunset. Yeah, uh, Monique, I'm a really, I really am a walking hood book. I really, really am. Did you know Ghost from 9 0? Yes, I did. Uh, you know any Palm and Oak? Yeah, I know a whole bunch of Palm and O's, man. My, my partner, Big Junie, Big Junie from over there. Heard of Booby from Watergate. Now I don't know Booby. Any four, five, six islands? Yeah, I know, I know some, I know some islands. <clears throat> I used to live waste with a dude from islands, uh, Big Zane. Somebody told me he rest in peace now, but yeah, Big Zane from the islands. We used to live waste together. Uh, or any fudge towns? Um, yeah, I've been locked up with some fudge towns. My brother from Hawthorne, Peru, he's Samoan, and my dad was from. Lawndale 13. Ever know anyone from either hood? Uh-uh. I can't say I do. I've seen essays from Lawndale 13, so I really couldn't say I knew them. You know, love the Bay Area. Love. Okay. You know OG Insane from Santa Ana Watergate? Do I know Insane? Um, I, they sound familiar, but I'm not sure if I know Insane from Watergate. Frederick Thomas. Okay. Dust Five. Dust Five. Okay. Kev Mack got an interview with Big Junie. Yeah, I've seen that. Now you, man, now listen, that interview that he did with Big Judy, man, you seen how sucked up and little and raggedy he was? Man, listen, when I knew him, when I knew him, man, that dude was an action figure. I'm talking about bam, 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 was an action figure. Man, I seen him on that interview. I was like, what the feezy? What? No, no. Oh, he died in the pen? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big, me and Big Zane go back, man. <clears throat> man, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell y'all a story um, about, he was talking about, now, y'all, he was just asking me about Big Zane from, hold on, know you're young, OG, but you remember Jimmy Lavender from back in the day? No, I didn't really know Jimmy Lavender. Yeah, he was the uh, one who started Nine Deuce Bishops, but I didn't really know him. That's way down there. Okay. Gary, what about the Lemay gangsters? Yeah, we get along with them out there in Hawthorne. Yeah, they cool. <laughs> now, I, he was just talking about Big Zane from uh, Pomona 456, the Island Pyrus. <clears throat> Me and it was cool. I'm going to tell you a story about when we was in Corcoran. Okay, now look. I'm in Corcoran. I'm in the cell. Now, at the time, I'm, I'm scoring. I'm scoring real big off the visiting yard. My wife at the time, my baby mama, she coming up and... um. I had a I had a I had a strong connect on the streets because my baby mama was when she was she was cousins no she was auntie with the dude out the Nickersons named Renzi you know what I'm saying now Renzi was a big dope boy back in the day out the Nickers out the bounty hunters so you know for you know out of respect for his auntie you know he would give he would give her whatever she needed and she was bringing it to me so anyway. I'm, I'm yeah, man. I'm, I'm the man. I'm the man. I was the man on the yard in Corcoran at one time. Man, I'm bringing that dope in every, you know. And at this time, back when I was there, I don't know if they still do it, but um, Corcoran was visiting Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, and so I was going out Thursday, Fridays. You know what, man? I, you, I shouldn't tell this story. You know what? I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna tell it tomorrow because it's a whole lot. I just thought about it. It's a whole lot that go with it. I know y'all finna be mad, but I don't care. I'm not telling y'all that story. I'm going to tell it to you tomorrow. The reason why I'm saying that is because we've been on here going on two hours, and the time is up, homie. I, man, I love y'all, but I have to go. I got an appointment that I got to be at, and I can't really. Let me see. OG Bloodbath. You ever run into OG Blood <laughs> Bloodbath? 
you I'm sorry, homie. I know I ain't right. But look, y'all, you're cool with the with, <laughs> hey look, hey, look, it's a troll in here, y'all. He say, he say, are y'all still cool with the blow pop pie rules? <laughs> the blow pop pie rules. <laughs> hey, a little while ago, write a book. I'm trying to. A little while ago, he asked, he asked, did I get along with the tumbleweed gangsters, Crips? <laughs> Tumbleweed gangster. <laughs> hey, see, look, I don't even be tripping. I don't even be tripping with them. Um, with the trolls, I leave them in there. I leave them in there. <clears throat> but look, y'all, I gotta get up out of here for a minute, man. I'm sorry about the, the mess ups in the middle. I'm sorry about the mess ups, man. Uh, tomorrow, I promise you, it won't. It won't be the do say. Did I know Big Crazy D from the gangsters? Do it, yeah, know him very well. Used to kick it with him all the time on the streets. Okay, Monique, three times. Uh, Richard, XOSZN, Go Young DJ, Lady Dolce and Baby Dolce. I got to check up out of here, y'all. So look, as we always say, uh, A gang or don't bang, homie. Avalon.